Alrighty, hello everyone. Um, so all of the footage that you're gonna see in this video, like all of the plants that we investigate and look at, links to learn about them will be in the description. So go check that out. Welcome to the Redwood Forest, a place of wonder. I'm gonna share with you, oh, park. Can't be too easy, sorry. <laughs> oh, did you hear that fart? Tree yeah. Fart? <laughs> creaking when the trees rub against each other they creak and ground. Let's take a look at some of the plants around here. So this is our native Mimulus guttatus, beautiful monkey flower. And if you look up here, you can see old growth redwood uh, snags that have plants growing in them. And that is actually an entire habitat in itself. Um, it's been studied by a lot of Cool scientists around here that go up into the canopy and find all kinds of crazy things. So let's get going. So we're walking through Cal Barrel Redwood Forest Trail, Prairie Creek, California. We don't have service to see if this is where the Star Wars films were made, but we're pretty sure that it's in this area. Network. Those are edible. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I'm, uh, just call them toadstools. spider on there? Let's see if it comes out. This is a pretty cool hollowed out, burnout old growth tree. It's still totally alive and thriving. And that's what's amazing about redwood trees is how strong they are. They can withstand fire, disease, Drought. You want some cobwebs? Oh, no thanks. And here's our redwood sorrel. This is one of several edible plants. Tell us how it tastes, Noah. Very sour. It's also called the clover. It's high in vitamin C. Just don't pick it near a roadside because dogs might pee on it. That's what we just did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be advised when eating redwood plant. Ooh, let me see what it's here. <clears throat> I don't know what a pretty little delicate flower. I actually don't know what that one is. I'm going to look that one up. So get a good image of that one. The leaves are whorled. Very cool. Oh. <laughs> so over here, 
you can see a great example of burl. People love burl because it's really cool. You can take a piece off of that big lumpy chunk that's in the middle of that tree trunk and a whole new redwood tree will grow out of it just from the tissue. So it's like a big seed. Yeah. So you can see there's a really big mass and then there's one up above it and then the plants that grow on top of either the burl or branches or anything else on these old big old trees they're called epiphytes and um, it just means that they have found a niche to grow and create a whole habitat so there's like salamanders living up in the trees all kinds of critters and creatures um also you can see that another tree started to grow out of the burl on that tree mm. there's a little branch off from the burl and that happens a lot. So, like, so, um, yeah, one thing that's cool about botany is you can figure out what plants you're looking at based on their characteristics. So, you look at the leaf, is it serrated? So, this is a serrated leaf edge, and this, when it's, um, goes around the stem like that, it's called a world leaf, W H O R L E D, and uh, you know, just all the flower, the features of the flowers too, like how many petals, the stamens, the anthers, inferior ovary, and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of fun to geek out on that. We can look at my manual when we get home. Yeah. Sorrel is very addicting, <laughs> as you will learn. Yep.